Hi, I'm Shane Jacobson, uh, star of the uh, film Oddball. That's not me. That's not me. That's a dog. I'm Shane Jacobson. Forget the dog. I'm going back to school with Student Edge. Shane, so I understand you did amateur theatre or started amateur theatre around the age of 10. Yeah, yeah. Uh, were you a theatre kid? Was this something your parents kind of encouraged? Or were you the one who said, I want to follow this, I want to do more of this do stuff? Do this. It was a mixture of both, really, because my mum um, still does and did back then teach dances. And my dad um, did stand-up comedy at, like, the local cricket club and the footy club functions and, and was forever the guy, you know, standing in the corner of a room telling jokes and had, had an audience there, irrespective of whether it was a gig or just him at a party. So, and my brother wanted to be a filmmaker and was already you know, running around with a small camera and filming stories, and my sister's dance, so, um, you know, it was kind of, I guess I was destined to, to do it, because you can't help but be a bit of a product of your environment. But I went and saw a gang show, uh, which is a scouting show, amateur um, show, variety show put on by scouts, and sat in an audience, and there were these kids around about my age on stage at the Palais Theatre in Melbourne, a venue that holds 2,000 people, or in excess of 2,000 people, with a full orchestra in the orchestra pit doing this whole show. So when I went and saw, you know, seeing those shows, I loved, like I still remember that first time I walked in and, and saw, you know, the lights, the, the lights in the venue went down and the curtain opens and the magic of theatre happened right in front of me. And I loved it. But it was when I saw Gang Show that I went, I can do this. So I, that's when I looked at my mum and said, oh, that's what I want to do. I want to be on that stage. So I auditioned for Gang Show the next year and got in and started performing, yeah, and, and, and have, have never stopped since then, but always had a thirst and a yearn to, to so, you know, theatre was my first love, as they say. Well, so you had theatre, you had your scouting as well, as you, as you mentioned. I'm kind of curious, like, was it hard to stay interested in school after that point when you knew, like, well, my real love, my real passion is the theatre and, and the outdoors and stuff like that. I'm not so interested in maths or science maths or, or science, English. Yeah. Now look, my, my parents had instilled it into to me and my siblings that you you know you kind of education will never be wasted, you know, and you need you always need something to fall back on. Um, so the truth is, and I wrote about, I, I did a book called The Long Road to Overnight Success, and and that is that making sure I'm gathering skills, and I, I you know I tell I'll tell this to my children, I'll tell it to everyone else that no no skill is really going to be wasted. It's going to come in handy at some point, and just because you haven't had a need for it for a while doesn't mean you don't need it. A first aid kit's a great example. You, you can have a first aid kit, you know, just kit sitting at home that you haven't touched for two years. It's a good thing. <laughs> but, it, but at the point that you cut yourself, you're gonna need it. And so I think education's like that. So I, I, I know what you mean. When I was doing shows, I was very distracted for those weeks when I was doing shows at night in front of an audience of 2,000 people then going back to my primary school and high school and having to sit in an English class. You know, that, that was distracting. But you know, if you're going to read scripts, you need to know how to read well. And if you want to write scripts, it's important to know, you know, a little bit about English. I know, I, I always knew that entertainment, it was going to be hard to get full-time employment in entertainment. Um, it's like going, you know, it's okay to say I want to be a rock star, but that's that's going to take some work. So if you are going to be a rock star or an actor, it's going to be probably a wise idea to learn all parts of the process. I, I was a lighting guy for, for many years. I did fireworks for... Bon Jovi, Guns N' Roses and bands like that. And I, I kept myself busy learning every aspect of filmmaking and television making. And I worked as, you know, produced and, as I said, done lighting and done sound and fireworks and all sorts of things and lighting design and rigging design. And so in a theatre, I know my way around. I've done flies and I've designed lighting shows. I was a lighting designer and a moving light operator. So I, I learned all the aspects of theatre and film and television. And that meant that I got to stay near it and understand the process even more. And none of those skills, Kenny, you know, my brother, directed it, wrote it, you know, I helped him write it. He, you know, I lit the film, he did the sound, he did the editing. So we, all of those skills that we gathered over a, a lifetime of schooling, that, that's how Kenny got made. Ten years ago, you had to mount that with your, with your brother? Yeah, clean. When you look back on it, what are your kind of takeaways from, from that whole period? Well, it, it was, I mean, Kenny was the, the role that launched my career, you know, the doors that used to slam in my face were being held open, which was amazing. I mean, I, you know, it, it will, nothing can beat the feeling of having made a film with my brother and my family and putting it out there, hoping people would enjoy it and then waiting to see if people did enjoy it and then to find out that people did enjoy it. That was, <clears throat> that's pretty special, you know, that, that's, 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 it's the birth of your own film child, if you will. 
Well, just to wrap up, what is your piece of advice? In terms of an educational track, is there something you'd say where it's like, do you follow your dream or do you have a backup plan? What is the better way to kind of go about it? Playing with both. I think um, if you can, I mean, I was following my dream by wanting to be an actor, but I stayed working in the field right around it. So if I wasn't acting, I was doing the lighting on the actors, but I got to stay in and around film and theatre and, and television. So now, you know, I, I love the fact that a lot of crew sort of mentioned that I'm very technically aware. You know, I'll, I'll find the light in a scene and, and you know, I'll, I'll be considering the audio department um, in different moments and letting them know if I'm about to yell in a scene so that they're ready to adjust the game accordingly, you know. So my advice for people is, like, in any endeavour, you know, I think entertainment is no different than I'm going to... I always have to pick sport because it's such an easy analogy that people often say, I want to be an actor. You know, the, the four things you need to succeed at anything are, are vision, belief, action, and persistence. It took me 26 years of acting for people to be able to go, right, you're that actor guy. So that's a long, that's a long apprenticeship, you know, considering I wanted to do it from about the age of eight or nine. So, um, so yeah, vision, belief, action, and persistence, and that sporting analogy I was going to give is, if people think they want to be an AFL footballer, then if they've got nothing to do, they should be down at the oval kicking a football. Because one day if some guy says, do you want to be an AFL footballer? I'm, I'm, a, I'm a selector for a team. I'm a scout. If there's a footy, there's the goals, kick. He's going to stand there and watch you kick that ball and you need to be able to turn around and go bang straight through the middle. And he goes, you've got a bit of, you've got a bit of talent in you. But if you haven't been kicking a footy on the weekends, doesn't matter where, amateur, on your own, to a mate, stand up comedy with a friend at the pub. If you want to be a dancer, do some dancing. Do some acting, have a go at doing some stuff in front of a camera. All of it's experience and it won't be wasted. But you've got to be, you've really got to enjoy it. You've got to stick at it because one day when the guy says, there's the ball, you get one chance. Because once he's gone, mm, if you kick a point, oh, forget about it, kid, and he walks off, that might be the last scout that comes through town for five years. And if you give up in four years, by the time the next scout comes, the bus is gone. So stick at it, but enjoy the process. Nice one. Let me just say that you're the first person to offer me the football as a scout, uh, even metaphorically. <laughs> so I appreciate that. Um, thanks for your time, Shane. Pleasure, mate. Nice one. Thanks Thank again. You. Hey, guys. If you enjoyed that video, click here to subscribe to our YouTube channel or find more of our stuff at studentedge.com.au.